round 14 here. I uh, just thought I'd cut in just to show you guys. Um, yeah, we're uh, we're here doing the uh, thing with Eifert again since my game glitched out. But we got him down to 66 HP, so there's that. There you go. That's yeah, fine. Uh, funny thing you can do actually is you can um, cast a scan on your own characters, which is kind of funny. So let's scan Quistus. Let's see what the game has to say. <laughs> Yeah, Quistus used the whip. When in danger, uses monster skills she has learned. Her admirers in the garden have formed a fan club. Well, that's kind of a nice touch in this game. Kind of funny, honestly. <laughs> Maybe we'll scan Squall later in the game. He should be able to take one attack, unless I crit. Okay, good, good. Perfect. Alright, and from here we'll draw, like, cures and stuff. And once again, we'll wait until about... 20 seconds or so. Um, if he's attacking, we'll, uh, we'll go to 25 seconds. And then we will attack with Squall and win. So, once in, in the meantime, we'll just draw cures or fires or whatever we want. So, hopefully my game doesn't glitch this time. I don't think it will, you know. The odds of that happening twice in a row are pretty low, so. We should be having time to draw one more time with Squall. Yeah, we should, we should. So let's draw a cure. And then I'm not going to draw any more with Squall. I will draw with Quistus, though. Helping her defenses out, you know. You guys know how it is. Okay, Squall. We're going to wait, buddy. Okay. Need to heal Squall after this, by the way. Okay, so let's draw here. And are we at 20 seconds? Uh, yep, let's attack. Perfect. And this should be the end of the battle. Right. For me to lose to a human? Very well. I will join you. And we did it with about ooh, the ending animation too. Oh man, seven seconds left. Nice. Alright. And we get Eifert's card. 20 AP once again. Oh, we didn't learn Ice Magic or Fine. Well yeah, I didn't fight as many bats this time, so and we get Eifert. There we go. Okay, phew. There isn't much time, but let me go over this real quick. Good. You got yourself a girlfriend. I mean a GF. If you junction that GF, you'll be able to use the Element Junction ability. So, yeah, basically what you can do... No, 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 no. I'll explain it, Quistus. There are a lot of fire elementals, so you should junction Blizzard to your elemental attack. You'll have an easier time with fire elemental enemies. If you say so. But uh, anyway, let's check out our new Guardian Force. Uh, okay. So, Shiva needs... Yeah, wow, the two bats I missed did matter, that's funny. Uh, but let's check out Eifert. He's got some cool abilities here. So, uh, yeah, he has Fire Magic Refine, Boost. All good stuff all around. Um, I'm actually going to learn Boost with him really quick. Um, and we need to junction Eifert to someone, so be sure to do that after you're done with this battle. It's easy to forget, uh, especially if you're new to the game. But let's just put him on Squall. So, there you go. And now you'll see... Squall has the Strength Junction ability, but what she was talking about as far as element, uh, when you're at this screen, when you junction your magic, hit to the left, and you'll make it to these. These are like the status attack and defense, and these are the element attack and defense. So what she's telling you is like, for example, we drew 13 fires, so yeah, and then you see the increase there, a boost of 6% 6 uh, 6 of fire damage. So what she's telling you to do is to put Blizzard. Uh, because there are a lot of fire enemies around here, so... Uh, yeah, I actually found a mule, a monster we didn't find the first time. So that's why I have three blizzards, but... Uh, for our strength, let's see if anything will boost our strength past 17. I doubt it, but... Well, oh, <laughs> scans, wow. Yeah, fire will put it at 18. I guess give me fires, and I guess I'll take any fires we have from Quistus. Um... Yeah, let's use let's both use some magic and exchange some. So let's use some cures. Much needed cures on Squall and Quistus. Okay, and then I'll exchange all the cures to Quistus. Wow, she has a hundred cures. Very good, very good. And I guess I'll take all of Quistus's fires and give them to Squall. Uh, give this to Squall. You know what? Give the thunders too. Give the thunder to Squall. Yeah, and the blizzards. Yeah, because I do have a junction, I guess. So. There you go. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Now, with a hundred cures, yeah, Quistus' Spirit, uh, which is kind of like, uh, 
as a special defense. Magic is kind of like special attack, and spirit's kind of like special defense. So vitality is kind of like your physical defense stat, you know, in terms of Pokemon logic. Uh, but yeah, her spirit's up to 21. Pretty good compared to Squall's, whose is 5. Wow, yeah. 21 uh, magic defense is pretty good. Anyway, let's get out of here as soon as possible and try to save, because obviously... I don't want any other glitch to happen. Uh, if there's any bats, we'll fight those on the way out, but anything else? Um, well, actually, no, I'm pretty sure at this point the quiz is over, the test is over. So if you want to fight enemies, you can. I mean, feel free to. Uh, these enemies can be particularly dangerous because uh, they can actually explode, so watch out. Um, let's use Shiva for no reason. Yeah, let's just draw some fire from this guy. Because we have a junction, so why not? Alrighty. But yeah, so, sorry about that glitch or that cutoff. I don't know why my game closed by itself, but... Thankfully, um... That wasn't, like, the worst thing that could have happened. Because, dude, like... What if, uh, what if I was in the middle of saving and, uh, my game closed like that? I'm pretty sure it would glitch the save file, which would be very, very bad. So, we should only get, like, one AP? Yeah. Yeah, these things give, like, minimal experience, too, so we'll fight the bomb, bo the ooms, I'm sorry. Can't actually say their name on YouTube, so we'll fight the ooms. <laughs> Alright, and yeah, there's a fire draw point there, so there you go. We only got five, which, you know, doesn't really help, but, you know. But, yeah, you can just use Shiva all throughout here. Oh, and yeah, this is what I ran into before, a mule. Uh, if you check out what magics you can draw, um, you'll actually see that this thing has, like, all of the elementals. Uh, we're gonna summon Shiva again. There's a reason I'm using Shiva, too. Normally, I won't, but, uh... Yeah, um, I actually want as little experience as possible, and if your GF, uh, KOs the enemy, you actually get less experience than if, you know, a uh, Squall would do it himself with a physical attack. So, that's why I'm kind of using Chiba a lot here early on. You know, no other reason, really. Chiba. Probably be the last enemy I fight here. Um, mainly because oh wow, Shiva didn't knock it out. Oh okay, I was about to say. Okay. Just kind of delayed there. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's probably the last enemy I'll fight in here because the main thing I wanted is yeah minimal experience. That's good. The main thing I wanted is the one AP for Ice Magic Refine. So there we go. And now that Shiva's got that once again, I'm caught up with the other episode. Let's switch abilities for Shiva. Okay, now that we have Ice Magic Refine, uh, let's learn Boost along with Ifrit. That's, you know, that's okay, you know. And ultimately, I do have to show how boosting works at least once for you guys, so. I'm not very good at boosting in this game, but, you know. Yeah. So, anyway. We'll run from this battle, probably. Unless there's, like, four enemies on screen, because that could be good AP. Okay, one oom. We'll see. We're actually going to be drawing a very good magic from this um, enemy later. A little later in the game. Yeah, that thing has one of the best magics in the game. Believe it or not, so... Alright. And did we get out? Oh, sweet. Okay. I don't think there's any wild... Yeah, there's no battles here. And the, uh... The, the garden staff are gone. Alright. With that, we're done. Quistus might have something to say once we exit here. No. Okay, good, good, good. I just want to save. I just want to save. So, save. Okay, uh... Here. It doesn't matter. Whew. Okay, we did it, guys. We did it. Okay, well, with that being done, like I've said in uh, some of the other episodes, I plan to sh show... basically catch up to where we were as far as Triple Triad and stuff. So, I think I'll go for, like, 40 uh, uh, Illinois oil cards as far as the Triple Triad. Um... Hmm, what time are we at in this episode? You know what? We got a little more time. 
There is one other thing I can do before I end it here and head to Twitch and start streaming. Um, yeah. There is one thing. In fact, there's two things. Back attack. Okay, let's just run. Yeah, these things are like mosquitoes. Bite bugs. Yeah. Back attack just means like the, uh, the, uh, enemies you're facing, they, they get a chance to strike first, so. Um, by the way, if you're following me or whatever, don't head inside uh, Balam Garden yet, uh, because uh, Quistus will leave, and you do not want that, so, for the grinding I'm about to do. Uh, ultimately, you want at least one party with you, member with you, and Quistus is the only one we can have at this point, so. Oh, I accidentally stepped on the grass. But if you follow the road, you won't get any wild battles, so. Any random battles. Alright, we're just gonna head out. Well, let's draw with Christmas real quick. Let's draw some scans and run. Okay, squall two. Okay, draw scan and run. Run! Alright, I just wanted my scans. See ya. <laughs> Alright. Okay, and we made it here. Very good. Okay, so there's two things I want to show you guys here. Let's save right here. First of all, I'm, I want to show you what I'm going to be doing as far as the stream goes today. So, we're going to be playing Triple Triad. Now, I, there's a good chance I might lose here, but ultimately I want to do at least one game of Triple Triad just to see how it works. Let's talk to these people normally first. Uh, you, talk to me. Hey man, you interested in becoming a mechanic? I had an assistant, but he quit for some reason. You might have the right step to become a great mechanic. Why don't you give it a try, huh? Uh, oh, same thing. Okay. No thanks. Uh, what about you? I can perform almost anything, my, but my speciality is singing ballads. Come by and listen if you're interested. Uh, what are you talking about? Hey, you're a student at the garden, right? What's the news on the garden festival? Me and my girl are gonna definitely gonna be there with our band. Uh, all right, see you guys then. And I love the music here. This is uh, the town of Balam, by the way. Balam. Uh, oh, so she's still saying the same thing? You still say? We still need more members. Ah, this guy changed his dialogue. Uh, anything else? We still need more members. Okay. But if you press B right here, you can actually challenge this person to card games. So let me just show you guys how at least one card game works. Oh, you hear that theme? Let me turn it up. Let me turn it up. This is the theme for Triple Triad. It's kind of like a mini game within the game. I love Triple Triad. So the rules here are open and trade one. Open just means you can see the cards. All these cards have numbers on them, and I've explained this before, but you know, some new people might be watching. But basically at this point, the higher your number, then you win. So let's just click the bottom five here. And hope she gets not so good cards. She actually got really good cards. Okay. I'll play my Jesper here. What's she gonna do? Ooh, Torama. Yeah, that's a pretty good card. The only way we can take that is with Festitocolon Fest right here. Or, um, also look at the numbers. Uh, so the red cards are hers if they're flipped. The blue cards will be mine. So let's flip this uh, Torama. There we go. Now it's back to 5-5. Five, five. And now it's back to 6. Okay, not good. Um, I can't really flip Triface or... I can't flip anything right now. But one thing I can do is protect my... This Torama from being flipped. So I guess let's play this right here. But looks like we're definitely going to lose this one. Uh, anytime you lose in Triple Triad, you might want to reset. This thing has a 7. But we can steal a Ifrit's 9. Yeah, yeah, and we lost, so she's gonna take our Ifrit card, our best card. Yeah, and that's, that's no bueno, we don't want that, so... Alright, but basically I just wanted to show you guys how card games work. Uh, let's exit the game and reload it. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, might be a little early to play Triple Triad, but, uh, there's some, like, weaker duelists you can find. Um... You know, here in this town, in fact. So, it might be better to challenge them. So, instead of her, she's actually got really good cards this early. Um, something else I can do? I can just kind of explore Balam a little bit here. If we have time, let's talk to this person. 
Uh, you talk to me. Talk to me. Shopkeep. This person will let you talk to them, I'm pretty sure. Um, can I, can I not? I'm like, oh, there we go. Car rental reception. <laughs> Sorry, we're all out of the cars right now. I'll tell you which rental places are good to bed. Tell me. Renting a car is one of the best ways to avoid those nasty monsters outside the city. You'll need to buy fuel, of course. When you rent a car, we offer a full tank free of charge. You can buy extra fuel at item shops. We charge a flat rate for our rentals. As soon as you drive back, yeah, your rental period ends. So that's how cars work. You know, if you just want to avoid random battles, there you go. Um, there is a draw point here. Thunder. Okay, and ooh, 15. That's actually a good amount. This is the shop. Hello. So here you can, um, you know, uh, actually upgrade your weapon. Um, over the course of the game, we're going to be coming across magazines that you can read. And then, um, yeah, you, you can use what you read to upgrade your weapon. Uh, but actually, you don't need, need the magazines in the game, unless you just forgot. Um, really, all you need to upgrade your weapon in this, did this already refill? Holy crap. Um, all you need to upgrade your weapons in this game, eight more. Wow, this is a great draw point. Um, but all you need to upgrade your weapon in this game is the materials. Uh, you don't actually need the magazine, so that'll help us actually get some later game weapons uh, right here. So, okay. Uh, there is a safe point. This is the hotel. Um, basically, for a hotel, hotels are everywhere here in, you know, in uh, Final Fantasy VIII. But yeah, you can pay 100 to heal. Uh, but, you know, we don't need to. Uh, let's just head up here. There are a couple things up here. So first of all, there's a save point, which I actually want to do here real quick, because we're going to do something pretty important right here. Uh, let's say, what was it, 119? Let's say, 113. Oh, okay, we're re at the end. Okay, well then let's go, yeah, this episode's already posted 24, so let's go for 24. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, but on the stand here, you'll see a little magazine, so talk to it. Found an old issue of Timber Maniacs. You finished reading it again. Now, what do these do? Um, seemingly nothing, but uh, some of these actually do affect uh, other events in the game. Um, I'm not going to get too into it right now, but uh, in general, if you see a Timber Maniacs, like a little magazine like that on the ground, uh, just pick it up. So Now, let's talk to Let's go over here and show you guys this before we end the episode. So this is just a regular old shop. You can buy some stuff here. Um, one thing you may want to buy that's pretty cheap is antidotes, which cure poison pretty early on. I always like buying like five of these, you know. Uh, as far as this other stuff, darkness, petrify, silence. Uh, I guess holy water is good because curse stops you from using your limit break. So maybe five of those, but really, um, these statuses like darkness, petrify, and silence are so rare that, you know, I don't really bother with those, but also potions are pretty cheap at 100, so you can consider buying some of those or selling some stuff you got. Uh, but let's talk to this person here. This is who I want to talk to. I'm the queen of cards. I travel all over the world to monastery and enforce the various card rules. What do you want to know? Um, power rules passed on. Basically, each region has its own rules. The rules you're carrying are passed on as you travel to various card regions. So she's uh, talking about how the trading rules work. As for the trading rules, they gradually spread out from a region where the card game is most popular. Of course, this region can constantly can change constantly depending on your course and actions. Also, my presence in the reason is it changes trading rules. So what she's talking about is the default trading rule is one. But if we duel her or challenge her, um, she might change it. So let's quit. It's still at one. Let's quit. We're going to try to tra change the trade rule to all. You wish to challenge me? Difference. Difference is... Um, the trade rule with that, basically, the difference in the score determines what, uh, how many cards you get. You know what? Let's show one duel with difference, just so you guys know what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, on stream, I will be trying to change the trade rule to all. And her cards aren't too powerful here early on, so feel free to take her on. Uh, let's go with this. Uh... 
let's go with Gesper right here in the middle. Yeah. Caterpillar, okay. I'm okay with that. So it's got a three on the left, so the only thing that can take this is her geezer, so we'll take this with our Caterpillar. Oh, right, I guess you could do that. Um, but now we can guard uh, our Caterpillar up there if we want to. I don't think I will, though. What I will do is... Maybe I should guard it. No, no, no. We'll keep the score the same. So I'll take this with Ifrit. Oh, what a weird move she played there. Hmm. Ultimately, I think this is going to be a draw, yeah. But we want to protect our catcher pillar, the three. So let's play this here. Yeah, yeah, it's a draw, so... Okay, not a problem. And if you draw, then neither player gets cards. But let's challenge her again. Let's challenge her again. Direct. I hate direct. But honestly, the way the direct rule works is like, whatever cards are blue, the opponent wins. Whatever cards are red, you win. Or I might have mixed that up, but yeah, the direct rule sucks. Don't play with that difference. Okay, we'll try this again. We'll try this again. All right. And if my phone cuts off, that's going to be the end of the episode, you know, but I just wanted to show how Triple Triad works a little bit. Man, I hate going first, but all right, I'll do the usual thing. Hmm, okay, so that only has a one on each. Wow, that is bad. Um, let's play this right here. Yeah, no, 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 no. Actually, let's play this right here. Leaving our five on the end seems pretty good to me. Okay, she, she wasted the bat. Okay, this is our chance to take the lead. So let's play this right here, Gala. Okay, now we're winning 6-4. Okay. Let's take this with Ifrit. All right, I forgot. I forgot I needed to protect my geezer there, but it's okay. It's okay. All right, one more. Hopefully, we'll finally get the all rule at some point. One? No. But uh, to change, to keep changing the rules, like I'm pressing B, and then if you just want to quit, just hit quit. Uh, let's try difference again. I want to have at least one duel where I win on screen before I end the episode. But if not, uh, she got some pretty good cards here. Dude, we keep going first. Oh my god, lady. Stop. Okay. So let's get a three on the left. Okay, let's play this here. What you got? Ooh, yeah. Uh, we can take this, though, with Catcher Pillar. Or should I play Catcher Pillar here? No, let's play Catcher Pillar. No, let's play this right here. That's 10 o'clock? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's play Ifrit right here. Okay, this is probably gonna be a draw. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we win, we win. Nice, clutch, catcher pillar. Yeah, and you get that, you win. So with the difference, basically the score was six to four. So basically with the, that, you get two cards, but you can get more cards with the difference rule. So now let's take two of our cards. This is a pretty good card. And we'll also take a uh, thrust of this, because it has two fives. There we go, okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, she, she didn't use the all rule. In fact, let me go back and save, because that did take so long. Because there is a chance I could lose, so... I'll go back and save, and I'll try to get a duel with the all rule in this episode. But if not, that's what we're going to start doing when we stream. We're going to start playing some tri triad, yeah. So, there you go. Nice. I got one triple triad duel in. Nice. Then we won, so that's good. Okay, and this says 128. Uh, I've been doing these in about 30 minute parts, so maybe I should end the episode here. No, no, no. I'll try to do one with the all rule. Yeah. Um, is there anything else I wanted to show you guys before I start streaming, though, and doing all the grinding? Let me think. There may be one thing I want to show you guys, actually. One. No, we don't want that. That's, that's a bad rule. Well, it's not bad, but it's just, you know, kind of boring, you know, to get only one card at a time. Uh, all. Try all. No, no. Direct sex. Direct sex. Uh, direct. No. Quit it. Quit, quit saying direct, lady. Quit saying difference, too. We don't want that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
Okay, maybe if I leave the screen and come back. Okay, she switched it. Uh, let's talk to you. The trains are running on schedule. There aren't any more tours from Gobadi. My experience in this situation. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Darn it, she's, she's using every rule except for all. It's like she knows that's what I want. Use all, please, queen. Direct. Uh, it's all good, it's all good. We got time. Difference? Okay. By the way, the main reason we're going for all these cards is because I'm sure you guys know, but a lot of these cards can refine, be refined into items. And uh, very good items, actually, for this early in the game, so. Um, wow, she's just not doing it, huh? Well, I'll tell you what, guys. We're going to end the episode right here. And um, I'm going to, like, save and reset. And in the next episode, we're going to try to get her to duel with the all rule. And there is, like, one more thing I want to show you guys before I start streaming. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it. And I'll see you guys all next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. Bye-bye.